Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the third part of Gate Smart Question series. Today question uh, I'm going to take from coordination chemistry, particularly from CFSC and pairing energy concept. Okay, that's what we are going to discuss in today's class. And uh, in the previous class where I have discussed about a question on commutation, I have received your answers and many of you have answered it correctly. So this was the homework question which I have given you. Let me first of all solve this quickly and then we will take the new question or today's question. Okay, so this question is based upon a concept of commutation. There are two, three things which are included. One is Dirac notation, which you can see directly. Then the uh, the spin angular momentum operators which are there. Then the commutation of the operators and how to solve them. So there are so many things which are included. I have discussed this in detail in the previous video. In case if you have not watched the second part of it, there is a link. You can watch that out. Now I'll quickly explain you that how this question is to be done. So I'll not go step by step. I will be a little fast because I have already explained you in the previous video, right? So SYSX, sorry, this is SYSX and minus SX SY beta is equals to IH cross B. Now, since you can see this part is nothing but commutation of what? of s y and s x now i h cross b is here i already told you that the commutation of s y s x is equals to minus i h cross s z so i minus i and h cross can be taken outside of this bracket and that will become minus i and h cross and this will become beta s z beta i h cross b and when you operate this sz operator on beta since it is a spin down eigen function so its value is minus half h cross beta this also i have discussed in the previous video so i'll just put the value so minus half and h cross will be taken outside minus i h cross was already there minus half h cross i'm going to take outside and it will become beta beta is equals to i h cross b now the value of this is going to be one because it's a normalized wave function when you solve this thing it will become minus minus will become plus it will become half i h cross square and on this side i have half uh, sorry i have just i h cross and b if you cancel out the things because we want to find out the value of b b will come out to be half h cross now many of you have answered it correctly and i'm super happy for that many of you have understood the concept i'm very happy with it because with every video we are learning new concept right so i hope that you all have done it correctly in case I know many of you are making mistake and you are writing minus sign here. Either you might have missed that this is not this is not SX SY, it is SY SX means the commutation is reversed. Okay, that's why uh, the, the value is minus IH cross SZ. Many of you were putting it for SX SY. You might have overlooked this part. That's the one uh, like common mistake which many of you have done. So I hope this is clear to you. Now, let's jump to today's question. Now today's question which we are have is not that difficult actually. It's a very simple question but yet as I say that these smart questions are not difficult ones. They are just smartly put up. So this question is from coordination chemistry CFSE concept. It says that if delta O is the octahedral splitting energy and P is the electron pairing energy then the crystal field stabilization energy or CFSE of CONH36 plus 2 is how much? you have to understand the concept of pairing energy in this okay now pairing energy is something which comes only when the complex is when the complex is uh, is low spin complex this pairing energy is basically the effect of ligand which it applies on the complex so that the uh, the pairing of the electron takes place in the complex and the complex becomes low spin so it's the effect of ligand which it is so let's now look upon the question. So the question is CO NH3 whole 6 plus 2. If you see this, so here we have cobalt in plus 2 state, which is a D7 system, which is a high spin complex. Why? Because NH3 is going to behave as a as a strong field donor, uh, sorry, as a weak field donor over here. And now if you see, uh, if you fill the electrons, so this, uh, sorry, you have to fill it in high spin manner, right? So we have to fill seven electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If you calculate CFSC for these E2G orbital, the energy is minus 0 0.4 delta O, and for these EG orbital, it is 0 0.6 delta O. 
if I calculate my CFSC, it is going to become uh, 5 into minus 0 0.4 delta O and plus 2 into 0 0.6 delta O. And if you calculate it total, it will be like 2.0 and minus 2.0 and plus 1.2 which is going to give you minus 0 0.8 delta now this is the cfsc so many people calculate like many of you will be able to calculate it it's very simple but the next thing which people thought or where the mistake we uh, many majority of the students will do is they will see that there are two pairing which is happening over here and according to that they will say that the total cfsc is equals to minus 0 0.8 delta O and plus 2P. This 2P they are including because they are seeing two pairing energy, uh, sorry, two electrons which are pairing up. That's the mistake which majority of the student will do and that's what happened also in the gate exam. This was asked in 2017 gate exam. 2017, okay. 2017 gate exam. And it was asked for two marks. And many, many, many students did this mistake. So option A, many of them marked, but the correct answer is option number C okay this pairing energy is not going to be included why because first of all it's a high spin complex there is no contribution of ligand to pair these electrons these have been paired up because of Hund's rule okay because you are filling according to the Hund's rule that's why once you have filled the five electron you don't have any space so you have to eventually pair up the electron to get the sixth and seventh electron and that's why it happened and that is the reason why the correct answer is option number c this is the correct answer and uh, yeah 0 0.8 delta o minus 0 0.8 delta o is the correct answer for this now i guess you have understood but this was actually not a very good question of pairing energy i'll i'll give you a better question and i'll explain you how exactly pairing energy will be used for example if i give you a question of chromium let's say and if i give you with a strong field again let's say cr cn6 or minus in this case i ask you to calculate total cfse so my chromium is in plus 2 oxidation state over here that means it's a d4 system it's a low spin system first of all so if i fill the electrons i will be filling them like this right and if i have to calculate my cfsc so cfse will be simply like uh, 0 0.4 into 4 so that will minus 0 0.4 so this will come up minus 1.6 delta Right, so my total CFSE for this particular complex will be minus 1.6 delta O, and this pairing has happened because otherwise, see, if 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 this ligand would not have been a strong field ligand, this electron would have went here. Right, so this pairing has happened because of ligand because of the low spin complex. That's why you will include that 1p. So the total CFSE will be minus 1.6 delta O plus 1p. This is how it is done, but again some confusion and some type of question people like make mistake let's let's take one this also so if i give you this question with cobalt let's say if i give you co cn6 4 minus again cobalt is in 2 plus state it's a d7 system here it is a low spin complex and now if i fill these electrons seven electrons so they will be filled like this all right seven electrons in a low spin field CFSC if I calculate, so this will be how much? Uh, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 into 6 and plus 0 0.6. So this will become minus 2.4 and plus 0 0.6. It will become minus 1.8. So delta. And since the pairing has happened, so total, many people will do this mistake here again. That total CFSC, you might have be also thinking the same. Minus 1.8 delta O and plus how many pairing you are seeing 3p so many of the students will think like that and they will do this but it is not actual case okay so again i am telling you that this thing is not correct why see in the case of chromium in the high spin case there was no pairing happening but in the case of cobalt when it was in high spin we have just seen in the high spin case of cobalt cobalt in plus 2 high spin there was already two pairing which was happening okay let me just give you in the next slide so if i have cobalt plus 2 in uh, high spin in that case i was having my electrons uh, d7 electrons like this right and when i have cobalt in low spin the same cobalt was now having configuration like this so you have to match both of them or you have to check both of them and see 
what is the extra pairing which has happened because of the ligand in high spin there were two pairing which were happening which are already here also the extra pairing which is happening is one so that's going to be the correct answer and the total cfse for this total cfse will be minus 1.8 delta o and plus 1p not 3p so to summarize this what you have to see you have to see the first point that if complex is high spin okay in that case no pairing energy will take place okay no pairing energy you have to include and second if complex is low spin in that case you have to include pairing energy but pairing energy i will write on pe that is pairing energy is equals to uh, like number of pairing electron in low spin complex minus number of pairing electron in high spin complex so then only you will find out the pairing energy and then only that you have to include i hope you understood the concept i hope you understood where mistakes are made and i hope you will not be making those mistakes i will give you some question as homework so that you can practice comment down the answer of those question in the comment section below and we will discuss that in the next video all right okay so i am giving you three questions over here uh, it says that find the total crystal field stabilization energy for the following complexes first one is cobalt complex cuh2o6 plus 3 Second is iron complex FeH2O6 plus 3 and the third one is again iron complex FeCN6 plus 2. So answer about like answer the uh, total CFSC including the pairing energy in the comment section below and I will see your answers uh, and I will also explain that in the uh, next part of the Gate Smart Question series. So that's it for this video. I hope you understood. I hope the concept which we wanted to conclude you have understood that well. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one till then. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hey guys. So I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.